Just about set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. McGrew takes it at the 16, gets out to about the 31. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And he's taken down at the 43-yard line. Shaw gains six yards with a short completion. Short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. Seven yard line. Second down. He makes it to the 48 yard line. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Got his receiver, dropped it, incomplete. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. He makes his way out to about the 35. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Jumped out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. So the running back comes away with a short gain on the play, and he also gets a first down. He worked hard to get that first down and won't go down as much in the box score, but he got the couple yards that he needed. He's tackled at the 46. That brings up second and one. From their own 46-yard line. It's second down. Run left side. Knocked out of bounds around the 48-yard line. So he picked up a few on that run. Yeah, he did a nice job of using his blockers on that run. Really a nice read. Again with a carry. They'll bring him down around the 46-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. The offensive line has got to do a better job of making space because that was just a punishing hit. Second and eight. Ball on the 46-yard line. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. Hey. 
Short over the middle. Tackle at the 43. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. Touchback. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Kirk, we saw this guy head to the locker room a little bit earlier. Good to see him back on the sideline, and it looks like he could be returning to the game. Gets out to around the 28. That's good for a game of eight yards. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Four down, four down. Mike four. They'll go with the run once again. Short game there by the halfback for the first down. Smart run. Maybe it won't look great on the stat sheet, but getting the first is what matters. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. And they make the stop at the 35. When you combine his speed as a runner with the strength of the offensive line, you have the potential for some long runs. First and 10 following that big run. They'll keep it on the ground again. And they hit him in the backfield. That'll bring up second and 12. So at the end of one, now this one's scoreless. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. And he tackles him hard at the 41-yard line. Fourth and long here after the sack. They've got ten guys up. They're coming after the kick. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Quick strike to the receiver. Tackle made around the 37-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 37. They hand it off. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. That's a game three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Nice run there. That's good for a gain of five yards. That'll bring so it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. And he's tackled around the 43-yard line. The defense was playing the run all the way, and they got it right. Nice work.
These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. He goes out of bounds at about the 25-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He's going to try and scramble. And he tucked that one in for about five yards. From their own 30-yard line, second down. He fights forward to about the 30. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. Morales is the punter. And now the ball is loose. Scooped up by the offense. And he just got stood up right there. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. And down he goes around the 23-yard line. From the 23-yard line, first down. Sheds a tackler. They'll get him for a loss. I think the corner is the toughest position to play in football. You have to be athletic enough to be able to run with wide receivers and willing to be able to come up and make plays like this to be able to stop the run. This is a big-time play by a corner, showing the versatility to be able to come up and be physical in the run game. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. From the 18-yard line, it's third down. Rose to the receiver, got it for the touchdown. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And it takes some real accuracy on those deep corner routes. So kudos to the quarterback. He makes the PAT. An eight-play, 45-yard drive. And it's good for seven points. The score now, 7-0. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 26-yard line. Let's see how the offense rebounds after fumbling on their last possession. Each possession gets more and more vital as the game goes on, especially when you're behind. You can't afford to make many more mistakes. Got a man. Watch out here. The offense calls a timeout. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. Just throws this one away. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Oh, 
He gets out to about the 44-yard line. And that'll give him another first down. Excellent job there, Brad, of running the football. That was good execution by this offense. He's scrambling. He's taken down right around the 46-yard line. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. Fires out to his wideout. Brought down right around the 36-yard line. Well, a new quarterback, but we saw this kid getting reps both in practice and in the pregame walkthrough, so this isn't a big surprise. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's taken down at the 23. They come out on an empty backfield. Deep pass to the end zone. Incomplete. It's the ninth play of the drive. Quick throw. Ball is loose. Fumble. It's recovered. It's a good job of securing the fumble and avoiding a turnover. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five wide set. Quick out to his receiver. And he gets the touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. A 10-play, 75-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. We get a tie game at 7-7. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. First and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's tackled right around midfield. And I think he's got a good rhythm going right now with his wide receivers. He hit him for a nice game. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. He sails it long. Almost intercepted. We've played a half. We're even at seven in this one. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. We've been looking forward to this game all week, and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half, and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. But you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this game. It's great, it's close, it's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreet and Brad Nestler. Does it get any better? David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The 
best seat in the house. Belongs to Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbertry. Great first half and a tight ball game. And we're set to start quarter number three. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. At the 30. The 50. He's pushed out of bounds. At the 48. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. They'll bring him down at the 32-yard line. First down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Tackle around the 19-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 19. He's got to throw it in a hurry. And a quick throw. Nice play to set up first and goal. That's good for a game of 15 yards. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. separation from the defender and that was enough room for him to make the catch we've got second and goal ball on the one throws and he's got a man touchdown So this entire group functions so well as a unit, and you saw it on that touchdown. Very good team effort. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Well, the defensive backs completely jumped the run. Only the run was never there. It was just that misstep that allowed the completion. From their own 39-yard line. First down. And they make the stop at the 39. That makes it second and ten. Scramble. He's wrapped up for the sack. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. It's third down, 12 to go. Ball on the 37. Looks middle, got it back, and 
and he's immediately tackled. Excellent job here by the defense to snip that one out before it turned into a first down. Morales is waiting for the snap. Gets out to about the 31. They punched it in for six on the last series. Can they do it again? This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Keeps his eye on it, makes the catch. It's scooped up by the offense. Tackle made at the 32. Here's third and nine. Ball on the 32-yard line. McGrew back to return it. So he got a little on that return. Well, Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. They run it left. The ball pops free. And they fall on the loose ball. And that one's recovered by the cornerback. Funny, because you usually don't see corners down there picking up loose balls. They're more worried about interceptions. A fumble ended this offense's last drive. Let's see as they come out on the field what they'll do this time around. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. And he's tackled at the 29-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. And that was the junior corner who'll get credit with that tackle. From the 29-yard line, second down. Throws a bullet over the middle. And down he goes at the 16-yard line. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. Runs it right. Nice pickup. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And he has it on the corner. Nice gain as he works the right side. That makes it first and goal. Now he's scrambling. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. by the line in a really nice run. That'll get you into the end zone almost every time. And he adds the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know, this defense played so well in the first half. I was very impressed. I know that. And I couldn't be more impressed with how they carried it over to the third quarter. Well, the most impressive thing is the way they've been able to maintain that into this second two half. Two they played lights out in the first half. They just seem to be getting better as this game goes on. Well, I'm sure the offense will be looking to avoid the turnover that ended their last drive. The defense, I'm sure, will be aggressive again. They love going for the strip and attacking the football. So with one quarter remaining, the Wolfpack lead 21-7. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. The strike complete. He's taken down right around the 40. From their own 40 yard line. First down. He gets out to about the 42 yard line. it out to about the 33. Second and eight. Ball on the 31. Two down, two down. Watch 14. Watch 14. Scrambling around. Slides down. And they picked up four yards on the scramble. Here's the eighth play of the series. his way out to about the 12 and the tailback broke that one for a very nice game give the offensive line some kudos there they blocked very well up front to create the holes for this back he's scrambling he's taking off brought down around the three yard line well they didn't get the first down but it was still a pretty good run by the quarterback he made a good decision to take off there this is the 10th play of this drive they're crowding the line and they're in. Touchdown. And he converts the extra point. Has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 23. The finish line's in sight. Let's see who wants this one more. Well, with the lead and the ball here in the fourth quarter, it's important that the offense kind of maintain their edge that they've played with throughout the ball game. You can't get too conservative. You can't worry about turning the ball over. Just block all that out. Execute the way you have up to this point, and they should be able to get out of here with a win. And he snags that one. And he's taken down at the 30-yard line. Number 12 brings his end down at the 30-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Yard 
yards here. Taking back three yards. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on the 27-yard line. And he's level at the 35. Great effort here by the wideout to secure the ball and pick up some extra yardage. The defense calls a timeout. Defense calls a timeout. They'll drop him for a loss. They'll line it up again on third down. another carry makes it out to about the 46 that makes it first and ten and this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock he takes a knee looking to take some time off that clock Really great game to watch. Both teams should be proud of their efforts in this one. 21-14, Wolfpack. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.